Hey, Walter. Hey, RJ, what's up? Yep, doing good, and you? Hey, Lena, what's going on? Everything good? Pretty nice day today. I think next week is supposed to be a little bit warm. I'm doing good too, Lena. Can't complain. It's a nice looking store right here. Chandeliers and all the lights and all of that, so. Oh yeah, I can still cross. What's going on? Ooh, for Saturday, is pretty much a lot of traffic. But I think, in terms of traffic, the days don't discriminate. There's the city, there's the city, it's okay. Yeah, I was literally still in my bed when the earthquake happened yesterday. I thought it was literally construction. No, it's no damage, it was just a little shake. But I think in North New Jersey, there was like three houses that they cannot, they gotta like, tore it down or do something, cause you know, cause it suffered a little bit of a damage. But yeah, I literally fought the whole time, it was just like a, construction because where I lived they're literally building a lot of condos and apartments so that's what I thought it was because I felt the vibration but then something came to my mind maybe it's a little bit of an earthquake and then when I'm checking online then it came out like it's an earthquake what I didn't feel I didn't felt the aftershock hey Patrick what's up but yeah everything is normal you know nothing crazy I know the people in California and LA, they're probably laughing at us. <laughs> Let me fix my shoe a little bit. By the way, I don't know if you missed my last stream that I showed you my shoes, they were in bad shape. So I ended up buying a new pair. <laughs> Damn, I'm already dirty in the front. They're literally almost the same, just slightly a little bit different. Size 12, <laughs> right here, so. So yeah, I'm gonna have to put some insoles underneath. Like I said, I got problems with my right feet. 
Patrick in the house. The house should bad in the beautiful Long Island. Yeah, mine's is shook, but I thought it was kind of like the construction. But then it kept going for a few seconds, and, some, and like it came from my mind. It's in an earthquake. But then it stopped, and I'm like, all right, maybe nothing crazy. And then when I check online, people saying it was an earthquake. And like an hour later, I got the uh, alert in my cell phone, like the text, like an earthquake happening in New York City area, New Jersey. Hey, Addy, what's going on? Yeah, Madison, I'm gonna make it a park. And then ahead we'll merge into Lexington. Yeah, yes, it was windy. <laughs> like we're in April, we're in spring, and I can't believe we're still wearing jackets. Like usually you'll get a little warmer, not like hot, but like hoodie season during this time, but still, here I am wearing a jacket. Yeah, everybody's okay. Like I said, I'm pretty sure the people in the age of California are probably laughing at us. Because they probably get this pretty often over there. In the West Coast. But that's pretty rare here for East Coast, Northeast. There's a helicopter flying. And then, what else I was going to say? Uh, there was something that happened the day before, trying to remember what it was. I know there was a thunder that struck the Statue of Liberty. Not sure if that's accurate, that picture. And then yesterday happened this one, the aftershock, and I think the solar eclipse is supposed to come up. And then there was something also special. What was the date? Yesterday was what, well, four or five, right? Like April the 5th, 2024. And I know there was, that's a special number too, or something that's gonna happen. But yeah, I forgot what it was. I saw it a lot on social media. Claire, what's going on? Hey, DP, what's up? DP, how's your rafts doing? Does Patrick fix your rafts? Did he scratch your back for the rafts or not use the 4.8 quakes? Yeah. No, that's rare. That's pretty rare, Patrick. I did experience earthquakes when I grew up in Puerto Rico because the area that I live is in the southwest and it's flat and they always get like a lot of earthquakes. And I think, what was it, like a couple of years ago, they were suffering like constant earthquakes back home. And after shots, that it, it caused a couple of damage in some areas of the island, especially in the southern part of Puerto Rico. So, but to come over here to New York, yeah, that's a rarity. But I've always had like this thing in my brain. Sometimes, like, what if? Hopefully, this don't happen. But like, what if you know, East Coast get like a crazy earthquake? I don't know why that comes to my mind. I don't know if I did dream of that, but like that just come to my mind. Yeah, the earthquake was kind of like like a square shape, like Patrick's head, you know. What's up, Pigeon? You good? Look at the Pigeon just chilling, getting some food. Square quake, yep. Square quake, not like oatmeal Quaker. <laughs> hey, John. Square pants. I, th I thought that pigeon was pe was uh, DP running away from me. I'll name that pigeon Pigeon DP. So 
He becomes an all type of species. <laughs> Clell's laughing. And then he got the local sits train that goes all the way to uh, Parkchester, also Pelham Bay. Pe Pelham Bay. And then it goes downtown to Brooklyn Bridge. But make sure when you go on this side, it goes downtown. If you cross it the other way, it'll take you to uptown. Yeah, sneakers are okay, but I'm having issues with my right feet. Like the back part is hurting me. I don't know if my right feet is like not aligned with the left feet. Because I don't know, I mean, you can look at it. Let me see something real quick. Yeah, if I stand like this, it feels comfortable, but then it's like going with my ankle. But it doesn't do it, doesn't do it with my left feet. That's what my right feet is. So I don't know if I can go to some type of doctor and have a check. Maybe I need to straighten it up or something. The thing is I don't really do much stretching either. You know, brunch is a big deal in New York. Well, my friend gives me uh, one of those insoles, so now that I got the shoes and I'm planning to wear them every time, I'm probably just gonna cut the insoles to my size and put it inside. Hopefully that'll do some type of difference. Not really, my legs are skinny, nothing special. That's why I never wear shorts, even in the summer. Only wear my shorts when I'm in the inside of the house, so. This building has like a balcony. Then ahead of me, I can see Union Square. tired because I'm always working on my feet and after work I do the streams you know like I rarely sit down unless I'm eating or just at home but yeah maybe when I go back to Asia maybe I have to get one of those foot massages but I'm probably gonna scream in pain it's probably gonna hurt because my feet is flat hey what's up Jeff Yeah, there was like another parade today. But I'm not really into streaming those parades. That's just like... That's just like generic crap content, in my opinion. I'd rather just do like neighborhood walks like this. Semi-cheating, to be honest, and getting views and stuff. Hey, what's up, Savior? Ooh, and this halal joint. Yesterday I discovered... I mean, it's probably been there, but I never know. I discovered a good halal joint in financial district. That is really good. I checked the reviews, 4.7. I ate it yesterday. I had a chicken over rice. Haven't had halal in a minute, so I was craving it. So they gave me that. They even gave me a piece of pita bread. Then I uh, added, I add a 20 ounce bottle of Snapple. It was only $9 the whole, the plate and the drink. That's crazy. Jeff in the house. 
But you can't really beat that for less than $10. You got like a meal and stuff like that, so. But yes, I have it again today. <laughs> it was good, though. I mean, why make a two-hour line in Adele's when you can get some good halal food without a line and it tastes about the same? And I had the white sauce. I'm not really a fan of the hot sauce. I mean, hot sauce is good, but stomach is sensitive, so I don't think I can handle pretty much spice that well. So if I eat a lot of spice, then you know, like in my previous previous stream in Harlem, someone's gonna be making some beautiful bass music, like boom, ba da ba da ba da bum ba bum, like boom, 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 like something like that is gonna be doing. So, so I gotta be careful, you know. Me got to be careful. Of what I do. Hey Valley, what's going on? I think I'm gonna make it to Madison Square Park. Haven't been there in a minute. Come on, bird, don't poop on me. Manny, I already blew up the toilet two times today. Really, DP? Congratulations, son. I mean, with the type of body that you have, you look like a guy that blows up the toilet really good. I could tell. I only did it, what, this morning, like one and a half? One time was all right, then the other time it was like incomplete, so I don't know, I'm not satisfied with my blow up conditions. Or tacos, maybe I need a little bit more fiber so I can blow it up DP style. So DP, now when I go to the bathroom after my morning coffee, I gotta think about you blowing it up. Once you hear that, boop, 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 I'm gonna be like, hey Manny, hey Manny, hey Manny, you blowing out the toilet? You know, I got a rash in my back. Wanna check it out once it's done blowing out the toilet? <laughs> hey, Joseph Taylor, what's going on? Oh, we got the cherry blossoms right here. It's Saturday, it feels like Sunday. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> you. I mean, we're a man, right, Jeff? We gotta do it, son. It's natural. It's like a crap gasm. No orgasm or crap. Crap gasm. Part with the sour cream. Damn, DP. How about in the Philippines, DP, with all that good food? I bet I feel bad for Simon when you were doing your business. Right? Something like that. Talking about the Philippines in June, I forgot what day. Is that they do the Filipino festival right here? The parade starts at the end of this street over here. This is 25th Street. The whole entire street, they do the festival and they got food and stuff. I know a few years ago when I filmed the Filipino festival, I sat literally right here and I ate my food. That video has 60,000 views. And that's probably, that's the video that I made that the most view has. So it's crazy how Filipinos love watching their festival and stuff. That's awesome, um, Joseph. You're a machine gun, okay. Hey, Michael, what's going on? Well, yeah, if you want to make it more like a machine gun, I bet DP, you know, you got that Italian meatball head. So once you eat something and you got to go to the bathroom, I bet it goes like... <laughs> something like that, right? Is that how it does, DP? <laughs> With your butt wiser belly and all of that. Like <laughs> and then your eyes are like relieving, like... Like when it's... Your eyes are like... Uh, heaven. Hey, Lord. <laughs> that you even question your your... your Sexual preference because it feels good. <laughs> I hate when you get a misfire. You think it's a fire. Oh Lord Jeff, yeah. I've been in those situations. The last time it happened to me was when I was in the Philippines. Luckily I managed to pause it and I made my way to the bathroom. I was like getting ready to whip it and then I felt it loose. I'm like, oh hold up, hold up, hold up, son. Let's make it to the bathroom, man. You don't want to stay in my un my undies. Let's see, oh, little by little, the leaves are coming out. And then over there, that's the Marriott Edition Hotel in the nighttime, it lifts up. And some beautiful architecture happening over here. And I'm not sure if ahead of me, a lot of people, they be feeding the pigeons. Because every time I walk here, you see a lot of, a lot of birds. Red stripe.
Look at all the DPs right here. <laughs> yeah, Patrick. To anybody here, don't worry. We're human beings. I'm just a little crazy, so hey, it doesn't hurt to talk a little bit about poop and stuff. Right, TP? Like I said, again, I bet, I bet when you go to the bathroom, it's like, bruh, 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 it feels like shit strips coming down, right? <laughs> Had to call a plumber once, a friend clogged up a toilet. No joke, for real, Patricia? Damn. That's the record right there. <laughs> Poor Cleo. I'm sorry, Cleo. We're just having a manly talk right here. Like a macho man, you know? Hey, what's up? Wanna say hi? What's up? What, what happened, bro? You in love with that one? That's why you're chasing her? Or him? I don't know. I don't know which one is the female and the male. They all look the same to me. Emily in the house. A hundred bucks for a six feet crap. That's crazy. Damn, what happened? Your friend was constipated for a while or what? Maybe your friend needs like a dildo or something. <laughs> In the summertime, they turn on the fountain right here. Damn, I gotta be slow with the way how I man maneuver the gamble. The plumber puke. That's why I don't think I want to work engineering on my job, because you do engineering and then they call you the engineering command, toilet at room 1206 is clogged. That's how you know what you're gonna deal with. You're gonna deal with a nice treat that the guest left for you. Chocolate with paper. But yeah, over here is usually like a fountain. I guess maybe in a two more months or beyond or something like that, so. Okay, where the heck is that music coming from? Probably a uh, performer or something like that. Oh yeah, I see them from a distance. Hey everybody, I'm a tourist. I came to New York. It was my dream. And I take a picture right here. <laughs> Gotta love when the people come here and they pose for pictures when they finally made their dream come true to come over here to the city. I bet they got that Taylor Swift in their mind when they're here in New York. Welcome to New York, he is waiting for you. Manny is a doorman, he slams the doors in people's faces. Me? I would. I would, because I'm. I, I have no patience with people and you know. I can never do a customer service job, man. Especially being an introvert. And then some people, you know, are dumb and they get in my nerves. Ah, no, I would lose it right, right away. I gotta lie, I've done, I've done some of those stuff in my job. <laughs> I'm gonna point out, I don't give a fuck about this job. <laughs> what you gonna do, huh? <laughs> nah, not like that. <laughs> Auntie Savvy, what's up? Still shaking from yesterday's earthquake. Did a little research not to scare you. Did you know New York is over a fault line, huh? Why not? I'm not shaking, but I could do a daddy janky on it. Shaky, 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 shaky. <laughs> the J-Lo of Staten Island has entered the chat. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't mind throwing me the red carpet so J-Lo of Staten Island could do her enter, could do her intro, walking comfortable with the cell phone in vertical style, walking with her glasses and a nice hairstyle, like walking like, Hi, I'm Savvy from Staten Island. Look how beautiful New York is. Look, we got some tulip flowers right here. <laughs> Joking, hi, Savvy. I am one of them, Savior. I'm only there because of the money, money, money. But the passion, passion, passion is not there. <laughs> it's not there. Hey, Bea, today, what's going on? We going down together. I'm good. Oh, look at the three gangs. Look, that's me, Patrick, and Deepy. And there comes Jair to join the team. See, there we go. What's up? Look at look, Patrick. You and I, DP and Jair, giving us space so we can be together. Think about it. Hey, Dinesh. He doesn't have a square head, but look. You and I. And there goes DP and Jair talking. Yo, just get them space. And that's Savvy trying to get ready herself on to take a picture of us. See, there goes the DP, and they meet up with Claire over there. She's waiting and trying to give us space. Damn, Patrick and you and I, what are we gonna do here in Pipe? We're walking far away from them. What's up? Huh? What? You're ashamed? See, look, Patrick, you and I, we're like, people, get away from us, give us space. 
<laughs> That's crazy. Huh, bird? <laughs> oh, I guess I annoy him this time. <laughs> yeah, about the earthquake, I was in my bed. I was awake, but I was still like laying in the bed. I'm like, I don't want to get up yet. Let me just lay it up. And then I feel, I thought it was a construction. Because, you know, they're doing a lot of construction in my neighborhood. But then that was not the case, yo. So. Twenty third Street, and if you walk down this way, it'll take you to Chelsea. Hey, Patrick is cracking up with the birds, the me and the you and I bird, and then DP walking with Jair. Then they meet up with Auntie Savvy and Claire in the background when they give us some space. See. We finally got to meet the moderator birds. <laughs> and the ho oh, and the host. And then we got a cherry blossom right here, AKA to give me the allergies in a couple of months. I recorded a few seconds after I realized it was an earthquake. Oh really, of course Savvy. Every time I see, I think about people filming in their phone in vertical, I think about Savvy. The mayor of the record. Savvy, Savvy, Savvy. Savvy, 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 soto. So it's a pleasant evening in NYC. You haven't joined a while. I jumped off from the couch and ran outside. Really, that bad, Patrick? Damn. I bet your square head turned more into like, I don't know, an oval, an oval, or something like that. It's a nice dog. Hey, dog. <laughs> hey, the dog, he was looking at me. I'm sewing that in the dog. This was a dog. I'm sewing the flowers and the dog is looking at me. <laughs> like that, no joke. And you see the beautiful architecture right here, so. That building's like thin, but tall all the way in the back, so. So if you want to re-record it, I'll use your toilet. <laughs> I'll use, <coughs> use your toilet. You're funny, DP. <coughs> see the flowers keep going this way. I have so many cool pits of view. We can make many manojis. Sure, Savvy. I feel like I'm in the Mayo Leeds when you got a storage in your phone of a lot of pictures from the screenshot of me. Damn, I made it big though. I made it to the Mayo Leagues. I'll shake the foundation. Hey, Davil. That's a classic golden retriever. Yep, Dinesh. I love golden retrievers. It's so nice, adorable, you know. I want to touch the skin. I bet I, I want to touch your fur. I bet it feels soft. You try to touch them, they don't even give you a chance. You try to touch them, like, like yo, I want to pet you, son. Dogs. That goes another one. That's the DP and Patrick dog right there. <laughs> special, special. <laughs> You are special. Butter from another mother, that's right. Fist bump, oh, fist bump, what? Let me still do it like this. Fist bump, pew. Butter from another mother. Uncle Bob in the house. Hey Bob, how you doing, sweetie? You good, Bob? <laughs> Maybe that'll, that'll motivate you to take your pants off when you watch me. <laughs> the earthquake, the earthquake was amazing. Joking. Eh, it was just minor, Daryl. Like I said, I thought it was construction and I had no idea it was an earthquake. Manny, that was my golden that you still saw. Oh, really, Emily? Does the golden have a Nickelodeon voice like yours? Miguel Gonzalez. The mayor of Coney Island. If you go to Coney Island, hit your boy Miguel Gonzalez. He'll take you to the nature's hot dogs, which you no know one in New York, New York City. He's gonna give you a lot of hot dogs, not hot dogs. He'll cup your boy Miguel Gonzalez. <laughs> You're already in shorts, of course. You're comfortable sitting down, watching Manny of Spores, waiting for me to say the beautiful word Brooklyn or Hobo Ken. That's how you like. I'm pretty sure when I say Hobo Ken, you get aroused, right? 
<laughs> I tell you, this building here makes you feel like you're in Amsterdam or London. Well, no, not London. It makes you feel like I'm in the beautiful city of London. London, you know, New York is one of like London. Because we got the English tea in the water, the water right here. You know, London, London, we got our own unique stuff in the UK. At the UK, we don't say tomato, we say tomato. Because this is the UK with the English tea. And the muffin right there, you know, it's a bloody hell, bloody cold out here. <laughs> well, New York doesn't really get earthquake either, Daryl. That was actually pretty rare and it caught us off guard. But Mother Nature doesn't discriminate. Thank you, Habibi. Thank you for, for not letting me cross. But you have to. Well, he's not Habibi. Habibi. He looks more like a curry, that guy that was driving. Which makes me want to do my funny Indian accent. If you're peeing during an earthquake, does the shake mean you're doing something else? That's actually a good question, Jeffrey. Yeah, the guy that was driving that almost didn't let me cross. He looks like he's from the Curry Land. There goes the train. What makes me want to go... Hello, Patrick. Hello, my viewers on YouTube. How are you guys doing today, my friend? Everybody doing pretty good today. Look how beautiful the city of New York is. You see the beautiful like in Tetral. We don't have that in Mumbai. You know, Mumbai. Mumbai, there's a, a big, big contrast. You know, we got the contrast of morning and then we got the contrast of the slums like Dharavi and Mumbai. But you can find a lot of street food in India. Just make sure that the hygiene is clean because you don't want to get the deli belly, the stomach bug in India. <laughs> And look at this, guys. In India, people would take bath in this water, but it reflects with the city bike. We are in here in, in Broadway. What are you laughing at, Patrick? What's so funny? Are you trolling me because of my accent? Huh, Patrick, how dare you? You're so stupid. I'm <laughs> joking. You're stupid, stupid. Are ya? I get a head of 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 you love me. I like the top of the ceilings over here. Look at Miguel Gonzalez. He's laughing. I bet you pee yourself, right, Miguelito? But yes, guy, we're gonna keep walking on the way to Union Square. Hello, Alex Oliveira. Boa tarde, my friend from Brazil. Would you let your Indian brother come to Brazil? Because I want to go there. I'm getting used to therapy. I'll take it, Patrick. I appreciate that. But meanwhile, let me keep on trolling. <laughs> hey everybody, how are you going, doing today? Today the, the, it's 6 o'clock, 5 o'clock, and the weather is about 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So it is a beautiful day to walk around New York City to see what's going on. We are passing 18th Street where they got the beautiful red building. <laughs> I'm stupid, I should feel comfortable out. Definitely. But look how they do it in your city. This is where your tax money go. They don't know how to use it right. You see how bumpy their roads are? Imagine if you're driving a car and you drive at a, at a fast, fast speed. What happened, DP? Did you want me to scratch the rash in your, the rash in your back? Is it itchy too much? We are going to Union Square. <laughs> I'm still here. I'm going to hell. Anybody got the luggage for me so I can go to hell? Oh, I see a lot of cherry blossoms right here. Oh, it looks lovely out here. I'm feeling good today. And the words of Karina Thompson. Union Patrick or Patrick Square. <laughs> Maria, yes, I'm always a trip. Want to take a trip with me to where? Which country? Hello, Maria. How are you today? I hope you're doing pretty good, Maria. Maria, I'm going to make some chicken curry. How is your spice level? Because you know in India we like to eat very spice. So just tell me if it's too spice for you. I'll try to modify for you American spice. Oh no, I forgot you're from Portugal, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. I could be wrong. This one over here is pretty good too, Rafiki's. They got a couple of those brands around there. I'll be making the Union Square. There's a little bit of a traffic jam down here, but yeah. Portugal, yeah, that's right, Maria. Portugal. Oi, to the bem, Maria. 
Por eso tú no ves María de Portugal. <laughs> I really like. I don't only eat Indian food. I like the Portuguese barbecue on a charcoal. You know, very good food. You guys are very good at making barbecue. <laughs> I can't go to hell. He's got a restraining order on me. He knows I could take his job. Uh oh, Jeff. Panther, should I do? Should I do? Where do we? Can't even talk. Damn it. Got so used to the Indian accent. Should I read weather report in Indian accent? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, do you want to know what the weather today? If you should wear a um, heavy coat or jacket. But the weather today, according to Patek Squared Head, is 51 Fahrenheit, 11 Celsius. The wind is blowing from north northwest at 8 miles per hour or 13 kilometers per hour. And the current humidity is 39%. This was brought to you by the weather report by Patrick. Look at him with his squared head dedicating himself to look at you and read the weather report for you guys so if you want to wear a jacket or a hoodie you just got to contact Patrick and he'll get you hooked up with the weather but today it feels pretty lovely that here in New York I'm in Union Square you can see the beautiful teddy blossoms happening over here oh my god so beautiful today no for real I'm going to hell after this one I think I crossed the line right I crossed the border illegally from Mexico to USA. See, this is the line right here. I'm crossing the border illegally with my new shoes. Ay, 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 I'm illegal right now. <laughs> Tremendous, hey, thank you, Bella Estrella. No, no, no. Gracias. Thank you, Bella Estrella. Thank you, beautiful Style 17. I appreciate you, me, being fun. Yes, Alice Oliveira, I literally just tell that to my people. I was born in Mumbai, in one of the biggest slums in the world that is called Daravi. Daravi, a lot of people think it's poor, but trust me, Daravi is very rich in culture, and culture. You know, a lot of co cool stuff comes from Daravi, and you can see the huge contrast of the rich in Mumbai and the poor in Daravi. But I invite you guys to come to Daravi in India, and I'll bring your host right there. So we're gonna walk over there, you know, and we're gonna sing Bangra music to the music and miss some Punjabi. Bing, 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 bing. I know, I'm, I'm stupid. Hey Nick, hey, Nick Johnson, what's going on? The cartoon of Patrick reading the weather report. It always gets you, right? Hey, what's up, $20 fake Chinatown Square Head Patrick? Hello, $20 Chinatown Square Head Patrick. How are you doing today? Hey, fake Chinatown Square Head Patrick, you know what you blend well? You will blend well in my India. In India, we do a lot of fake products too, not just in China, so you can come to me to India. Since you're the fake $20 squad head Patrick. <laughs> I love how Patrick greets you know the fake. <laughs> hey Sabi Soto, how are you how are you doing today? The J Lo is starting island. Hope you're doing pretty well, Sabi. Are you filming any video in Betica today? You can film me. I'm your brother Patel, Mani Patel from Mumbai, India. <laughs> Man, did you ever see the movie The Warriors? Uh, no, I didn't. It's like an old movie or, you know, I haven't been to the movies in a long time, so, I'm trying to remember. Seems like they got like a mini market right here. What's going on? What they got going on? Banders and stuff. Just joking, yeah, I know you are. Then they got the beautiful cherry blossoms happening over here, so. pretty light today a lot of cool stuff but I'm gonna make it a Washington Square Park to see what's going on it's a great movie I'm, I'm not sure if I've seen that movie maybe I've seen it damn I gotta google it then to see damn I never seen so many vendors here hmm. and you know I don't want to like mention the war but it seems all the all this all the new people who are coming in the country you know with all respect you know as long as I do the right thing and make like a good grind. Gonna have to mute this because of the music. Oh, but yeah, that's what's going on. Oh, it's from the 77 to 79, wow. <laughs> If that's what's going on, you're going to be noticing a lot of banders around the streets. You know, probably the new residents of New York coming in. And then a lot of, another, whoa, another thing that I'm noticing is a lot of 
a lot of guys in the corners they be selling like you know ear pods or the bluetooth uh he earphones or headphones so i guess they get like a hookup or something then they do that we're pretty busy here today in union square i like how colorful the street is right here like the bus laying and then they decorate it pretty nice but it needs like a little bit of a retouch hey lois Cox, what's going on tyler what's going on but yeah let's make it to my favorite park in new york city aka um union square it's so good that it's still bright outside. Love it. What's it, 6 12? I remember in November when they put the clock back an hour, like a 4 30 is dark. And that is deep. But that's seeing depressing. <coughs> like I say, one day I'm going to have to make a video trying out the uh, city bike. That'll be good. Yeah, Union Square is cool too. I prefer better uh, Washington Square Park. I discovered it got city bike in my neighborhood in Jersey City. Well, in my section. I know I've seen it in the downtown, but I didn't know they had it in Journal Square. Hey, DM, what is going on? Greetings from Brooklyn. The earthquake was a bit scary. Yeah, it's something that's pretty rare here in New York. You know, I know a lot of people from California or the West Coast are probably laughing at us, but keep in mind that this is not normal in this area so it caught everybody off guard you know if anybody has never experienced an earthquake you know it's they might be really shocked with this yeah i mean i would i would do a recorded video lois cox a recorded video and testing it out like doing my review and stuff about what i think about it uh figuring i'm gonna keep it straight I got my own bike, but why not just do it for the vlog, you know? And the weather's getting, well, it's still cold though, but when it gets nice, I'm probably gonna bike more often. Because the thing is, there's a lot of neighbors are pretty big, and you can reach it pretty good by bike, you know? So, I'm in Powerhouse Waldo in Jersey City, I can record for you. Well, that's okay. Oh, Powerhouse Waldo, was that like a station? Oh, I'm sorry if I asked you that, but. You know, I live in Jersey City, so I mean, hmm. Ooh, it smells like fresh coffee. We got you see the Freedom Tower right here, Ed. Let me see if I can see, man. Yep, Freedom Tower. I think this is the only observation deck that haven't been up yet. Maybe invest some money and do a recorded video trying out all the observation decks in New York City. 4.8 Earth, yeah. Yeah, it's unusual, and it's not, yeah, it's not like a too rich, or, it's 4.8, literally 5, so that's, that's actually a little bit big. But luckily, there was like no major damage, you know. It's crazy, like, uh, what was that, like, a few days ago, we had a seven point something in Taiwan. Powerhouse District near the Whole Foods. Oh, okay. I haven't been yet to that uh, Whole Foods. I'm gonna have to go, I can bike there. Yeah, I'm so happy to live in Jersey City. I'm like, I wanna live here someday and I made it happen. No, no, Alice, nobody got hurt, you know, not even mayor damages either, so thank God. That's the most important thing. But it scares me, you know, because we got 4.8, but yo, God forbid, hopefully we don't get anything, you know, worse. You know? And I think the airports were a little bit on standstill, too, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> hopefully nothing crazy happens in May when I fly out. I forgot that today is Saturday. That's why you see a lot of people, you know. There's a lot of history and... There's a lot of history along the Hudson. Did you know it's changed place was part of Underground Railroad, really? 
I tell you, Jersey City is rich in history too, you know. An underrated city. Hey, Bighorn, what is going on? Oh my God. Well, DP, I'm gonna walk around Washington Square Park or Patrick Square Park, see the vibes that's going on, and then I'll figure out where where's my next stop. Either Greenwich Village or maybe the East, maybe the East Village. We'll see. We'll see what's going on. The vibes are pretty good today. Saturday, so I'm pretty sure, you know, we'll see some good vibes. I love Whole Foods. They had the best organic food. Went to one in Baltimore after my husband appointment at John Hawkins. Yeah, I go there and after the stream, I'm going to get some food and I'm going to go to Whole Foods. Buy, maybe see if they have some chicken. I'm probably going to cook, you know, for my lunch break at work tomorrow, so... Probably buy some garlic chicken, maybe see what else can I find and do a little bit of cooking tonight. Mm, cute dog. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's impeccable today, Lois Cox. But I forgot where it was that I was walking. That was a little bit dirty. Oh, it was in Harlem, my previous stream. There was some streets that were not that clean. But then when you walk around Malcolm X Boulevard or Leonard Avenue, it was really beautiful, the street, like between 116 heading towards 125th. Like the architecture and the brownstones are gorgeous. Yeah, man, DP. Going back to Asia. Cambodia. I'm scared. Hopefully there's no earthquake in Taiwan. That's why I'm doing a layover. Hey, DP, let's rewind about a little bit talk when we started the stream. DP, do you got a blub, 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 when you're in the airplane? <laughs> oh, DP, don't kill me. Look at DP putting the upset face. It was like a last minute uh, plan, DP. You imagine me and DP in the airplane, sitting in the plane for 17 hours or 15 hours, and you hear beautiful DP scratchy, eggy voice. Hey, Manny, so, you know, we're going to have a really long flight right now there. And then the, 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 the flight attendant passed by. Hey, how you doing, man? Can I get a glass of uh, margarita? I'll get a glass of beer. I'll get a, a can of beer. Can I drink so? We got a long flight of cats ahead. Joey Nandes, what's up? I wonder how much all that scaffolding costs per day. Let's walk over here. I think it's a little bit of a private area, but I'm still gonna. You pull a Fernando, did I? No, I didn't. DP, you have the ranch, DP. How can I be a Fernando? When are, gonna, when are we gonna draft Fernando? Look, everybody, I'm in Europe, cobblestones. Maria, look, I'm in, I'm in Portugal, Lisboa. <laughs> Joking. Or Lisbon. Obrigado, de Portugal. Yeah, I love the street. I never get bored of it. Hidden gem, look at the cobblestones. That's a big dog, damn. <coughs> hey, Tony, Palo Guerra, como esta? Saludos de España. Yeah, it looks like Portugal, right? Like Lisbon. Or like South America, too. Or Central America. One place that it looks like it's pretty interesting in Asia is called Macau. You know, not too far from, it's kind of like the same style of Hong Kong. Like it kind of belongs to China, but it runs like autonomous. And they have Portuguese architecture because I figured it used to be like a little colony of Portugal. It's kind of like the Vegas of Asia, but then they got like a district that it looks like if you're in Portugal. Might be even be better than Vegas. I mean, the only difference about is that Vegas is strip, they got like nightlife, you know, you can walk around. The one in my car is just like plain, it's just a huge hotel and stuff, but then, you know, they got it downtown with the Portuguese architecture. Yeah, the, EP, the prices were really high, like, <laughs> I had to pay a lot, but hey, I had to go, gotta go see my mahal. That too, Italy or Greece. S Spaghetti or Slo Slovakia. <laughs> Let 
And there you see the Empire State Building over that way. It's so man. I would love to, Alex. Also for sale, why not? Ooh, they got a lot of cherry blossoms here. Let's go. And then the trick about this art right here, if you stand over here, let me see. Uh, this is the bike lane. Okay, let me just stand here really quick. You can see the Freedom Tower underneath the arc. And then if you go inside the park and you show the other side, you can see uh, the Empire State Building. I see Manny, tall and skinny. Yeah, that's me. I'm skinny. Do you need me to floss your teeth? I'm skinny enough for that. So if you want to have like some perfect teeth, hit up your boy Manny. Or if you want to bust the teeth, you can use me like a tooth, like a tooth stick. Yeah. No, this is Patrick Square Park. I mean, yes, Washington Square Park. Ooh, look at the cherry blossoms. I see a decent amount of people, but it's kind of, it's actually getting a little bit windy over here. That's what I heard, Bob. Muy, muy caliente. Muy caliente, gustoso. Gustoso, obrigado. <laughs> France or Japan? Yeah, Japan is like in my bucket list. Yeah, look at this beautiful flowers right here. Wait, they're already doing graduation? I see people, you know, purple and all that. I might have to mute because it got me a cigar. But it's bear with me. May I do what I do to this and I'll get the selfie with the... Uh with the cherry blossoms. You just pose with it, trying to look beautiful. Then you see the Christina Aguilera, you are beautiful in every single way. They got early graduation, oh, okay. So they're getting ready for the future people who are gonna do the nine to five jobs under the corporate, interesting. Well, I graduated college in 2009. And then if you stand here, you get the Empire State Building. But it seems like it's lit. I guess we got the same street performers. Hey, Frederick. And a lot of these graduation kids are... They're like posing with the uh, cherry blossoms and stuff. It's gonna mute this real quick. Got some painters over here. Oh, that's pretty dope when they're painting. Is it like free painting for anybody to paint or what's going on? I guess it's like a freestyle painting. That is dope. A lot of good. Let's see if I got some money. Get them a tip. Nah, I don't got a dollar. I got like big bills. Here we got a DJ here. That's crazy. <laughs> I can't wait for 420. That's when it's gonna be lit right here. Then we got the skaters over here. Just be careful how I point the camera, but yeah. But yep, yeah, this is the part that makes me feel old <laughs> with all the young people out here. Hey, hey.
what does it say it's your circle I can't even read that uh oh genocide stop yep genocide stop kidnapping stop that's my eldest birthday oh your older daughter birthday is in 420 And then this is all like New York University right here. <laughs> no honey, it's white DP, that's how you say it. Oh, what did I graduate? Business administration. Four years with a minor in computerized management information systems. But how do I explain? I think I've said this before. But uh I was just like, you know, when I entered college, I was 18 years old. When I finished college, I was 22, so I did, you know, four years. And I did it mostly because, you know, that's what they trained me to do. You know, my grandparents wanted me to do with college. I even said, what if I do an associate? They're like, nah, that's not like a real career. Do a bachelor, so, you know. I studied that, but to be honest, I didn't really knew what I wanted to do. <laughs> or what was my passion? What the hell? This is so tall. Woo! So, I mean, I did my college, but yeah. Even though I work and stuff, and it has nothing to do with what I study. But I don't even remember anything about what I study, <laughs> to be honest. Look how tall this is. Look. I took business management and didn't finish. Oh, yeah, I did it. I finished mine. I did it in four years. Yeah, though, it's called, this is my passion, exploring, streaming, but I like more like recording and editing videos, traveling. Yeah, like what I, what I study, I don't know, I didn't really have the passion. But I just did it because my grandparents wanted to. I mean, they didn't tell me to study that, but I just did it. I mean, they want me to finish college. Hello, how you doing? They trained me like, hey, you know. You know, most of the people that train, like, hey, you go to school, get good grades. Then you go to college, then you get a job, and that's literally your life. But you know, now that I'm in my, in my late 30s, I'm realizing that that's just like a scam. <laughs> DP graduated kindergarten. <laughs> I bet you were you were his teacher, right, Patrick? Hold on, let me bring that picture again. Yeah, that's DP graduating kindergarten. That's Professor Patrick right there with a square head. Look at beautiful Patrick's head. It looks like a little doggy when you're getting ready to eat and the dog peeks in his head like... You know, when he hears a sound, only smells the food, so... Migdalia, what's going on? That too, uh, Bob, I think I should have studied that. I should have studied nastiology, have a degree in nastiology. <laughs> Patrick is laughing. See, you see the picture of both of them, DP and Patrick? It looks like it's their first day of school and mommy is going to take a picture and be like, smile kids. Wait, let me put that again. I'm in the mood. Smile kids and look at DP. Look at Patrick holding his arm and DP just like, who would have fought a guy that looks like this? Like DP be like, hey Patrick, look at my back. With his little eyebrows like, hey Patrick, look at my back. <laughs> oh Lord. That's funny. Hey Colleen, what is going on? How are you doing? DP had a beard in kindergarten. Yeah, that's the most mature looking kid I ever seen. DP in the house. So you so you became a streaming mentor, entertaining and all around a fantastic guy. Yeah, I mean and I've been doing YouTube for a while, but I wasn't streaming, you know, I never thought I would do a live stream. I'm like, eh, let me just go invest myself in a gamble and from time to time do a live stream, but a lot of people, they like it, so here I am doing it pretty often. I was supposed to work tonight, glad it was canceled, gotta watch Mania soon. Oh, look at DP, getting so excited to watch Mania, WrestleMania. Do you smell what The Rock is cooking? <laughs> like something like that. So Patrick, that's the biggest baby I ever seen. Yeah, yeah, he even has a he even he even has a butt wiser belly. 
in this meatball head with the bowl spot that you know if you lick it you're gonna get a, you're gonna get a high cholesterol of how salty it is I'm good face how you doing I'm doing pretty good medallia can't complain Yeah, DB is a big kid now. He don't need pampers or anything. He's a good boy. Oh, they got a festival here. Woo! But what time is it? It's probably gonna be over, but I'll see some tents over here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. What they got? What do they got? What do they, what do they, what do they got? What do they got? What do they got? They always got something happening in New York. What do they got? What do they got? Let's, Manny, I got notification, woke me up at 1.32. Well, I'm sorry, Colleen, you know. <laughs> I don't want to keep you up awake all night, but I appreciate you doing the effort to wake up and watch me, you know, even if it's for a little bit. That is a really dedicated viewer right there. Colleen. Hasin, what is going on? You're the kind of guy I just want to come in New York just so I can meet you in person. Well, I feel like I'm gonna make a lease now. Jeff wants to come in New York to meet me. Manny, you made, you made it big, Manny. From the slums of Puerto Rico to New York, where people want to meet you. I made it to the major leagues. <laughs> it seems like they're packing up, but let me just go see if I can catch a glimpse of what happened here. Well, I see the crowd over there, so. I was gonna go here, but then I spotted the tents. Yesterday they had Smorgasburg and the Oculus. But the food is always expensive and it's like small portions, so I just went and got some halal. Jose Miguel Perez Cruz, what's going on? Comila Margarita, Venezuela, right? Venezuela in La Gaza. The land of Patacones and Cachapas. And he get recognized everywhere now. Oh yeah, yesterday I got recognized, I said that, yeah. I literally got out the path train, somebody came, are you looking me? are you in YouTube? I'm like, yeah. You have your first stalker, man, you're famous now. <laughs> hey, but it's great. Yeah, I think they're packing it up, but let me just see what the hell did they have here. It's probably one of those regular street festivals that they do. Yeah, they're packing it up, so I came late. Or maybe not. I came late, see they got the bands and everything. Ooh, I came late, well I see something open over there. It's pretty much the same type of food you'll see in any of these festivals. So far, for all the night markets that they do, I think my favorite one is the Queen's Night Market. I might go back there and do a stream. Or do a recorded video. Can't wait for them to open. Yeah, it's literally over, so I came late. Oh well, I tell you, these little street fairs are unpredictable. Like you don't know when they're gonna pop one up in the streets. They do it literally while I'm by my job too, from time to time, so. Oh yeah, Patrick and Claire, well Claire's in Montreal, but yeah. Maybe we can coordinate something. She can come down here, we go up there, you know. Manuel Alejandro Jimenez. Uh, Pública Dominicana and La Casa. We are in the house. We are international now, see? Now I feel like I'm in the major leagues right now. <laughs> so you got a traffic jam happening over here. You probably will get diarrhea anyway. From what? From this food or? Yep, getting a turn at the back. Then they'll be singing the song. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the park. I forgot the lyrics, but yeah. Look at the person posing. When you see people like that posing, that's when you want to see the Taylor Swift. Welcome to New York. It's waiting for you. Welcome to New York. 
it got the modern building combined with the older architecture right here. So and then they got the cube over there. And this is where they got the wet man. So the first one was open in Brooklyn, but then they opened another wet man so right here. So but yeah. Moist, moist, moist. Yeah, that's how Patrick loves it. Moist, moist. Damn, somebody's smoking like a really strong tobacco. Damn, that's hardcore. This is 4th Avenue. During the summer, even in spring, sometimes they do like a little mini Japanese street fair over here. I tried to go one time and film it, but it was like super, super packed. So I just gave up. I tried to get something that had the least line, and I'm like, ah, I'll pass. Well, I'll read it in DP's voice. Hey, Patrick, I need some popcorn. Some popcorn with some cheese and some salt in it. You got it? Just make sure you don't put anything that gives me allergy reaction. Because if not, Patrick, you're going to be looking at this. Where is it? You're going to look at my butt crack and the rats in the back, Patrick. Hey, Patrick, I got a rash in my back. You mind taking a look and scratching it for me, Patrick? <laughs> oh, Lord. Look at DB how he laughs at his own troll joke. <clears throat> wow, traffic, traffic. One of the reasons I don't like driving in New York City. Hey Luna, what is going on? Moon! Luna! What's going on, Luna? Hey! <laughs> and they're building stuff in here like construction. How are you, Mo Luna? I blew one in his face, I bet! I bet you did, DP. I bet it smelled like rotten sewage. Or rotten eggs combined together with chemicals. I'm pretty sure Patrick got a pink eye by now. He, he enjoy it. Did a silent but deadly one again. Then you feel that warmth going into your nostrils. It's like you get high of gas. Gasawana. Mmm, <laughs> Emily. What happened, Emily? You don't like a little pinch of gas? It's moist. Let me go this way, since there's a scaffolding. All right, Jay Joaquito. Pretty busy in St. Mark's today. Jesus, this is what I'm talking about, people. The slow walking, but taking over the whole sidewalk. Let me go the other side because they're getting on my nerves. And most of the times I walk that way, but this time I'm gonna go over this side. This must be new. Awo Bar and Grill. They also call this place like Little Tokyo. What's the matter, Emily? You don't like it moist? You don't like a little splash? <laughs> moist? Can't go wrong with a little bit of moist. <laughs> Look at that, they're doing the same over here too, taking over the sidewalk. Ito. A sea of people, yeah, I don't mind the slow walking. This don't take over the whole goddamn sidewalk. I see, I'm gonna have to do a little ludicrous in them. Move, bitch. Get out the way. Get out the way, bitch. Get out the way. Oh, no, I'm getting it. Hey, Jason, what? What is going on? Sam Marks. Yeah. I got a fist. I'm gonna flex. I'm gonna flex. People, get out. Get out. Get out. <laughs> Joking. Jason, we're up in the house. Keep Jason handsome. <laughs> hey, Jason, I think the guy that sells like those candy stuff, he's around here in St. Mark's, right? Could be wrong. Yeah, I'm in line. Yeah. But I mean, it's still lit to look at, you know. I like the vibes over here. Yeah, I'll show you like a 360 view of what's going on over here. 
Hey, Luz, what's up? I forgot, it was a guy, you made a video about it. Uh, I think he does like fried Oreos and you know, like a lot of, mostly it's candy stuff. And uh, an elder guy, he's been doing that for decades, I think. I think it's around here. You were, you, you were with Sick Man when you did that. But I always get lost. Like, where, where is that guy? Not that I want to go there, I'm just curious. I know he's somewhere around here. Hey, me, like, what is going on? Yeah, that savior. Oh, yeah, across. Oh, it's in Tompkins. Okay, it's that way. I thought it was around here. Okay. Yeah, I've seen, I saw your video. I've seen another people in TikTok do videos about him. But I never found, I never found the spot. And it got like this Beria taco spot over here. And Second Avenue is right here ahead of me, so. Get one of these remote farm machines. Oh yeah, that's a good one, Jeff. You do a silent but deadly and they'll run away. They'll be like, ah! This used to be Stump over there, but they changed, uh, you know. Man, I gotta watch my step because I see a lot of dog droppings. Yeah, First Avenue stopped going there since their staff. Oh, okay, never mind then. Yeah, if the staff is bad, then I don't want nothing to do with them. Yeah. And I know you're an e you're really an expert in you know, in customer service and stuff. You know. That's why Jason Wubb is the legend. Like the song says, keep uh, Jason making hands. <laughs> Let me cross the street this way. Oh, we walk, we walk, Jason. How's your walking ball? Hey, hey, walk, 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 walk. You too walk, Jason. <laughs> we all walk here. Everybody, moderators, everybody in the channel. Me like, good morning, me like. From the beautiful land that is called the Philippines. Well, it's pretty busy. I keep forgetting that it's Saturday. And there's like a lot of people over that way. I'm not sure there's like a restaurant or... You know, I'm not used to walking like in... You see on the weekdays. Let me see what's happening over here. But I'm in a bike lane, so it's a no-no. Hey, Sylvia, what's going on? Yeah, I know, Jason. I love that that song. That song really su suits you pretty well. <laughs> Only the rough style. That's why you're the legend. <laughs> so what is this spot that I see a lot of people? Is it a coffee shop or the house? Oh, you don't. It's kind of like a, I think, uh, what is it called? Um, ramen? But look at the line of people to get in. Wow. Yo. If you're hungry and you gotta make this long line. <laughs> I want Manny to go sample ice cream tasting in an ice cream shop and we can all taste with him. Someday, Jason, maybe in the summer when it gets hot, I'll take your suggestion. Or if I go to Thailand or if you come here and we meet, we'll do that together. We can do a sample. <laughs> I'm gonna start the video the, the, the same way that Jason starts it. He puts the music, he stills the scenery. Ding, 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 ding. What's up everybody from Pattaya, Thailand? I'm Jason and I'm gonna get a foot massage. <laughs> That's how you do it, right Jason? <laughs> hey, what's up Andrew? I mean Andrew, Andrew, Andrew. The mayor of the bacon and cheese guy. Bacon and cheese, bacon and cheese, bacon and cheese. Yo, 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 yo. Hook me up with my boy Andrew. You wanna get a bacon and cheese guy, guy? Gotta get a Cubanito style. Gotta get a, a Habibi style. Gotta get a bacon and cheese, cheese, cheese. White sauce, hot sauce. Going to bed here in Switzerland. New Med Center. Have a great night. Thanks for saying hi. Haha, <laughs> I like the Jason Webb impression. Yeah, Jason, you know, I usually do a lot of impressions of people here. <laughs> Or joke around, you know, in a good way. Nothing disrespectful, but yeah, I, I do, you know, a little bit of impressions, troll. But yeah, I really love how you start your intro. The music, the scenery, you know, the massage parlor, the tuck tuck, ding, ding, ding. And the camera slowly. What's up, everybody? I'm Jason Rupp. 
I'm in Pattaya, Thailand, and I'm in the need of a, of a shake. And I think I found a spot over here. This is the menu here. See, get a foot massage, a uh, hundred bath, thirty minutes. This, <laughs> Jason. <laughs> oh, you want the Trump impression? Iris, what's up, man? Sure, the Trump impression. Hello, Manny. You're doing a tremendous job. You do a tremendous live stream. Keep up showing the tremendous city of New York City. Don't let the leftists or the radical people take over. You're doing a tremendous job. See, I'm gonna make you at least. Jason likes my impression now. Woohoo! I made it big. <laughs> So I think this is also called not only the East, the East Village, but Ukrainian Village. See so you know the architecture, you see the Ukrainian flag right here? Ah, ah Jason, it could be, right? He, he pops up some, from time to time. Not the real one, but you know, somebody who uses the account. Hey, Cleo, look, I found a redhead Cleo and a brunette Cleo. Hello, everybody, this is Cleo. And yes, I'm wearing my red hair today on my red dress because I think I look cute. Hello everybody, this is a uh, brunette cloud and I'm not only blonde, you know, I can wear any stuff. Or what about a Texas accent? I'm not really good at it, but I'll do it again on time. You, Adams, you came a little bit late. I was doing the Indian accent. Oh yeah, no, you came. I greet you in Indian. But yeah, hey, look, we got more stuff for Cleo right here. But yeah, what's up, man? You know, we're going to be down, down here in the Texas, son. We gotta come down and test. We gotta go hunt for some cows, son. We're gonna make some really good pork brisket and meat down there because we're the land of the barbecue down here in Texas, son. Yo, you guys are crazy up here in New York, man. The traffic jam is horrendous and crazy, man. You gotta come down the country, Texas. We wear it like a cowboy hat. Yeehaw! Good night, man, and y'all. I was up all night editing to see him. Gotta sleep. You have a great night, Jason. Thanks for stopping by, and you know, like always, I really love your content. Keep on going. Don't stop. <laughs> keep Jason handsome. Keep Jason making videos. <laughs> Jason, appreciate you. <laughs> I see something funny to my wife, but I don't want to get banned if I show you what's in my wife, you know. I know somebody else, some other streamers, they probably would have showed that, but yeah. Lean outside the wild. Manny Trump, you're doing a tremendous job. 50,000 subs. Can you ask him to send money? <laughs> Here, Manny, you got the stimulus check. This is doing a tremendous job. You are the true face of an American person. Born in the USA. <laughs> you know what? Let's go this way. Then they got the House of Munchies over here. Wait, what, Manny? What happened, Emily? What did I, what did I say or what happened? What did you miss on, Emily? Emily, Emily, Emily. She talks like she in Nickelodeon. If you want to hear a Nickelodeon voice, talk to the one in Emily. Emily. <laughs> Trump is selling a Bible now. <laughs> Yo, that dude is a, uh, is a clown, Bea, today. What are we gonna do with him, right? I mean, what do you expect? It's Uncle Trump, so there's nothing you can do about it. And you see the beautiful architecture. This is where they got the Sri Lanka restaurant. I've been here a couple of times and the food is incredible. Just be careful, make sure you tell them not too spicy. I guess they're gonna build something here. Because Sri Lanka, they really love their food, like really spicy. Oh, 
we're talking about Sri Lanka, I mean, it's different from India, but it can make me bring back my Indian accent. <laughs> right, my people? We got a wide day with a street meal over here. Wait, is this guy recording too or what? Looks like he's doing one of those videos over there or something like that. Maybe he's FaceTiming. Hey, Marit, what is going on? Hey, welcome back, DP. You're back and bye. That's funny. All right, class, turn out to page 28 in your books and Emily's voice. Hey, I'm Emily. <laughs> All right, DP, take care. Before you leave, let me just give you a Budweiser belly rub in your belly. Like Pittsburgh. Tickle your be belly button. DP, I'll even blow your belly. I, I have a theme for that. Let me do it, DP. Come on, DP. <laughs> Get the popcorn. Yeah, that's right. Now I need a drink. Where are you gonna get a margarita? Yeah, it's pretty rare. Yeah, a lot of the, the ride aids are kind of like um, disappearing or something like that. So, we have a four day. Peruvian food, but it's mostly like seafood and stuff. Hey Ivan, what's up? Let me see if I catch up some streams. Hey look, we got Cleo here in the pink hat. Look Cleo right here. Hello everybody. Cleo. <laughs> it looks like Cleo, right? We literally just passed Cleo. Wait, where's Cleo? It's gonna cross the street. Look at everybody, Cleo. Hey Cleo, there you go. Hello oh, everybody, I'm walking around with my friend in Manhattan and you know I like to wear a black outfit. I gotta wear my jacket down because you know my butata is disposable. It disposes and I get everybody turning their necks on me. So I don't want to cause an accident. So that's why I wear my jacket very long. <laughs> yeah, that's the one and only Cleo. A little bit shorter than the original Cleo, but yeah. The one and only Cleo Sita. Cleo. Too like the architecture here. Hey Manny Tulip, that's funny. Look, good thing Manny doesn't know what I look like. Look, guys can't help themselves. Emily, what do you look like? What do you look like so I can troll you? I'm joking. <laughs> what do you look like? A woman? Oh yeah, you're a woman, I forgot. <laughs> Cleo's not a very popular name, but in NY, it looks like there is a lot of Cleo. You got that right, Cleo. <laughs> your name is not popular, but your looks are popular. You remember when I was in Chinatown, Cleo? And we saw a tranny Cleo? <laughs> or a dude dressing woman, and... <laughs> in the back, I thought it was Cleo, but Savvy could spot from a, from a distance that it was a male. Until I saw the fun of him, and I heard his voice deeper than Barry White. 
I'm like, holy cow, no, that's not a female clail. That's a that's an Asian male clail. <laughs> Talking Ben. This is uh the borderline on the Lower East Side. This is right over here. That was funny, right, Claire? <laughs> In East House, East Houston Street. Not Houston, Houston. Woohoo! Hundred likes, we made it, baby. Then Caps is over that way. Then my favorite Turkish restaurants over that way. Not gonna eat there today, but I'll show you guys what's up. It's a lot of people here. Yeah, it's beautiful here today, Clef. Is it still a little cold over there in Montreal? Is it your day there today? Freaking cold, man. <laughs> hey, Jeff, I got your text now. I'm not sure if you text anything earlier, but I just saw your text now. This is the New York that I like the vibes, the people, the diversity. Hey, hey, they got the music. I don't want to get a copy, right? I'll sing over top of it. And they got a pizzeria right here. Man, this is one of my favorite Turkish spots. Ankara, which is a city in Turkey. Well, not Turkey, Turkey. Yeah, Manny. And believe it or not, that's not even my real name. It's not even my nickname. I just like, you know, a lot of American people, they have a hard time pronouncing my name, so I just call myself that. But yeah, this is a really good uh, spot over here. Ankara, which is a Turkish restaurant. They got like some really good kebabs and stuff, you know, good food. This is one of my favorite desserts, which is called baklava. And you get stuff like this, so yeah. Decent prices too, and you know, really good. Even a healthy option of food, so if you happen to be around, definitely, you know, give it a try. Like the shish kebab is really good. You see, I get the chicken shish kebab over rice. I try the pita bread too. They serve it with salad and stuff, they fire it up, they make it like a smoky flavor, so yeah, it's pretty good. Turkeys. <laughs> Let's keep making it to financial district. It's like a movie. What street is this? I'll keep forgetting. It is whatever street. <laughs> hey, you like it? Spanish cola, Greek spinach. I don't think I would try, so I can't really answer if I like it or not. I don't eat spinach that much, but I, I'll probably try it, you know? If you can make it good and make wonders, why not, right? The last number I even, Manuel, without the E. That's my real name. But people are like, Manuel? I'm like, no, Manuel, Manuel, Manuel. My name is Manuel, Manuel, Manuel. And they got crepes here, waffles, fruits, ice cream, crepes. And this is pretty popular over here, 7th Street Burger. Wow, look how packed it is. But I don't know, the burgers are not too bad, but they're a little bit like greasy for my style. My favorite burger in New York City comes from Handcraft Burger, which is in 40th Street by 6th Avenue. Or oh, this is Archer Street. And you go over there, taste it to Allen. Your daughter's in financial district on Matson. Oh, that's all the way down. 
Lower East Side. Yep, that's my real name. Super Spanish name. <laughs> You know, a lot of people when they see me, they think I'm like a, la a light-skinned black guy until they see my name. Or until I open my mouth and it gets to the way. Got a lot of music out here. Gonna add a mute. That's right, Patrick Square Head. When you think about Square, you think about Patrick, the four edges of the head. Patrick, Patrick Square Head. head. Yeah, me either, because they got music playing. They're playing that crappy mumble rap, sturdy songs that they play nowadays. Hip-hop, bring hip-hop like it used to be, man. EAY, what's up, Mosey Manuel, I know from Argentina, they use Manu Latin Caribbean. Yeah, I'm Caribbean, so I guess it made sense that they use Manny on me. I'm from Puerto Rich, I mean Puerto Rico. <laughs> Puerto Rico, yo nunca dejaré de amarte. Ding, ding, Hey, what's going on over here? Yeah, man. That's right, Cleo. Oh, man, I should try to speak Jamaican. I think the only thing I know about Jamaican is the curse words. <laughs> I already spoke Indian. I already spoke what else? Yeah, man. Wah, wah, man. You know, me walking down the hill in the street, I don't, me know, me know like what's going on over here, you know. Me get really mad when people be blocking down the street down here, that blood clap down here, we're going down here, man. <laughs> no, 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 no. Cause it's not just like, just dark. <laughs> laughing. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, you know me from Jamaica, man. Jamaica, you go there, the country that had, we go like to drink some rum punch. And every corner in Jamaica, man, you know. In Jamaica, we don't play down there, you know. You try to mess with me in that blood clap, I shut you down there, man. Shut your fucking mouth, man. I'm getting on me, don't like the way you're talking to me, sir. So we can keep us blowing down here, down Manhattan, man. Down the lower east side, man. That one, one, man. That's that blood clap, man. <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> Patrick. Yo, Patrick, man, what's so funny, man? You laughing at me? You laughing at my mama, man? That blood clap, don't laugh at me, man. Don't laugh at me. Me don't like me the way you laugh at me, man. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, Patrick. Yo, Patrick, man, you know in Jamaica, they can use a really squared head like you, man. Just make sure they don't try to scam you, man. If you need a security guard in Jamaica, the kings of Jamaica, I'll go with you, man. You go to whatever you want, the Montego Bay that they saw, man. I'll show you the real deal Jamaica, man. We did some rum punch, man. <laughs> Portuguese and Southern accents too. Well, my Portuguese accent is horrendous and Southern accent, so even though I got roots down in the South, my mom is from the South, so. Yeah, man. <laughs> Maybe the South. I already said I ain't gonna say it no more. Oh, I can cross 14 seconds. Oh, shit. And, and, ah! Made it. Woohoo! Me made it. Me made it, man. You know what I say, man? What was I saying? Oh, we were talking Jamaican, right? <laughs> My fake Jamaican. Fake Patoy, that's right, Chinito. Yeah, I'm just impersonating and trolling it, man. Well, it's not Patois, this is Jamaican English, not the Patois. What is, hey, is this DP? 
Look everybody, I found DP right here. Chilling with a cerveza, a beer. It says healthy drink, yeah, right? Look at his belly, how it goes. Roop. But he built some pretty good burps, though. <laughs> hey, Patrick. Hey, Patrick, look at me. They got a store with my, with my picture in it. I'm drinking a beer. A beer, man. Look, a healthy drink right here upstairs, man. Of course you know Ivan, because you're Spanish. Anybody who's Spanish. Even in the Philippines, they pronounce my name good. Even in Malaysia. When I was in Malaysia, staying in a hotel, and I, I went to the reservation, they look at my name, Manuel. Like that, they said, like, what the hell? You said it perfect, but in America, they're like, Manuel? I guess it need a little bit more season here in the States. They're like, what? Manuel? Manuel? Oh, n n how is it again? Manuel! <laughs> we got the lower east, <laughs> lower east cross laughing. Seems like we got some music over here. Bar Thai food over here, sticky rice. Even got the heater, but it's not really that cold today, so. And this is dope, they got the street. The only bad thing at nighttime, imagine you're eating your food and the rats go by. The Savvy Soto is laughing. You imagine that you're eating a food and then a deep fried rat passes by? And I literally said it loud when the people are eating. <laughs> I hope I didn't kill their appetite. <laughs> I hope I didn't. Puerto Ricans live in the Philippines. Oh yeah, and hold on, let me mute this. Also not, believe it or not, in Puerto Rico, a lot of Filipinos live there. When I went, not the last time, when I went like six years before, I was wearing a Filipino shirt that I bought the last time I went, right? And then I came across a woman. The thing is, you know, a lot of Filipinos, like they're myths. Like they don't have like that real Asian look, but I mean Asia is big. So some of them they gave them look like Spanish. So this woman came like, hey, where do you got that? I was walking in the Walmart in my West Mall in Puerto Rico. And this woman saw me with a shirt, she's like, where do you got that shirt? I, I like, oh, I got it in Manila in the Philippines. They're like, oh yeah, that's good. I, I kind of knew, See, like, it turns out that the woman was Filipina and, she, and she'd be living in Puerto Rico for a long time. She speaks Spanish like Puerto Rican accent. I'm like, wow. So I was in shock. She's like, yeah, I live in San Germán. I'm like, wow, San Germán, that's where I study. So we were communicating, we were talking about the Philippines for a while, so yeah. I tell you, Philippines and Puerto Rico, they're like cousins. <laughs> Only people who call you by your full name is your parents when they matter you. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm gonna say something, my, <laughs> my late wife, where's in peace. <laughs> I knew when she was mad. She always calls me, you know, when you call your partner, a dog or anything, I'm not going to say. But when she was mad, Manuel, when she say Manuel, that's when I know it was a, like, like, in, like the meme. It was at this moment that he know he fucked up. Like when she say Manuel, I know that it's coming really hard. <laughs> yeah, my, my ex-wife. <laughs> so when she called me by my real name, you know it's, going, it's about to go down. Wait, can I cross? I cannot even see. You blocking, you blocking the sidewalk, sir. Because me and I cannot cause I'll see what I'm going to cross, man. The paddock is laughing. One of my best friends is Filipino. Oh. I don't like to say, you come to the Philippines. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Salama, po. Hi, sir. Especially when I'm in the Philippines and I walk in the restaurant. Hi, sir. <laughs> Hi, sir. Dining, sir. Here's the menu. There's a menu, then I get, let's say the food is like, shut the fuck up, man, I'm talking to the stream, the ambulance. Let's say the food is like 200 pesos, I get them 500. I received 500, sir, here's your change. Here you got 300, sir, thank you, sir. Yes, Patrick. <laughs> Claire was laughing. But yeah, when they call you by your name, that's when you go like, <coughs> ba -ba -da -ba. Manuel!
I'm gonna hide. <laughs> Is it time to come out yet? <laughs> <laughs> Patrick is laughing. I know what's wrong with me. I always come up with some funny stuff, right? Ah, <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, have mercy, sir. Oh, if I go this way, I figure it takes me to that local park in Chinatown. I could be wrong, but let's find out. Bob. That's the side, Bob. Si te llaman por tu nombre, ahí tu sabes que te jodiste. When your mother calls you by your first and last name. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But I mean, in Puerto Rico, they always call me by my real name. So I didn't know if they were mad at me or that's how they did it. It's like, Mira, Manuel, ven pa' acá. Manuel, dímelo, Manuel. Todo bien, papá. Dímelo cantando, papá. <laughs> but yeah, if they're mad at you, they'll be like, Manuel Pere. Manuel Pere. Ven acá. I'm like, Or they come with the rice cooking and they hit you in your forehead. Ping! No, they don't do that, but I'm just messing it up, you know. <laughs> Manny, thank you so much for your company. You're welcome, Colleen, anytime. I appreciate you, you know, waking up late at night when you got the notification to watch me. That's really kind of you. Let me go over here because I got some beautiful street murals over this way that I want to show you guys. Right there today when they call you by your first name. Manuel Pere. Ven acá. That's how you got to swallow your saliva like... Uh-oh, do I need diapers? <laughs> it seems like they're vandalizing this. Was this Martin Luther King? And Kobe Bryant and Gianna. Yeah, this is some really dope street art right here. Oh, in the heart of Chinatown. Cleo yells at me in French when she gets mad at me. Bonjour, Patrick, come here, Mong. And she always says, Mong. That's how you know it's about to go down. I had a dream that one day we all... Is that Martin Luther King or not? I think it is, right? With the slipper, oh my God. And the Marco, so yeah. <laughs> and then this one, this one's really goosebumps right here. Hey, Smooth, what's up? Yeah, rest in peace, man. Kobe B, brother. Rest in peace, King and Queen, both of you guys. Shame, he was only 41 years old. Literally starting to live his life. That's Martin Luther King, right, Smooth? That guy over there? I had a dream that one day, money is sports, and everybody and his haters will get along. I had a dream. I had a dream. Yes, yeah, Martin Luther King, and his anniversary of his death was two days ago. Wow. How's down in Atlanta, Georgia? Then they got a basura. I wonder how many rats come down here. And then we're entering Chinatown, the local area. If you go that way, it's a tourist seat to the right. And if you come down this way, this is mostly like the local. I mean, this is Canal Street. And over here, you could take like those cheap buses. But I'd rather just pay money and ride comfortable to Amtrak or an airplane to get to another city. This is the local part of Chinatown. I had a dream that DP was chasing me. I had a dream that DP was chasing me behind me. Simply so I could look at his butt crack and his rash. I had a dream that one day I was busy downstairs getting punished by Cleo. Got a mute here. Music.
Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I gotta tell you that bus stop, that bus station, it literally looks like a dirt wall country station. <laughs> like it's small, all the people pile up over there, wow. But it's New York City. I mean, if you wanna travel cheap, that's what you gotta do, right? And you got the local park over here. Ivan, I'll do it when I feel like, okay? Just calm down, chill. And here's the really underrated shot. And then the Manhattan Bridge is over this way. Instead of going to Canal, I'm gonna go in the back. And we'll end up by Dyer Street. Wow, it seems like they fit this park with a little mini track. Then you could play frisbee or football in the middle. So yeah. Just because of that, I'm not gonna do it, Ivan. But you got the Freedom Tower, you know. If it, and it's cloudy, so you can't really appreciate like the sunset and all of that. So, okay, can I cross you or not cross you? All right, we can cross the street down there. Sorry, bro. Yep. Yo, is that me? Is that me with my tongue out? Looks like me, right? That's my brother right there, shirtless. Has my same haircut and stuff. That looks like a mini Manny and uh, huh. Let me post with myself, EFM. Take it out, where's, it? where's me? Oh, over there. Can I zoom the front? I doubt I can zoom, but yeah. Oh yeah, I can zoom the front, but... Yeah, I was trying to imitate me doing the turnout. out. Let's pose with the Manny in the back. Where am I? Over here? Oh, there it is. Right there. <laughs> oh, no, I'm a man. That's it with the bling bling change. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, literally just like me, a little, probably like a little bit younger version of me. But he probably got like more muscles. I'm really slim though, so. Bob, that's why I use the whole name. So I saw you know it's gonna go ba ba da ba. That's it. Like I said, I'm gonna go over this way. Bad boy, bad boy. What she gonna do? Manny tongue is better. Oh, I'll put, that's really kind of you, Bob. Let me guess, Bob. You don't got your pants on, right? Uncle Bob. El Bob. El Bobby. Bob, 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 Bob. Then this is Canal Street. They always got like a traffic jam here.
Well, I appreciate that, Ivan. I'm just an average, regular civilian, but I appreciate that. <laughs> what about your other ones? It's like a nice looking hotel over here. Well, there's a lot of people probably get some food or something down here. <laughs> That's literally what it is. Let's meet fellas. Hey Sandra, what's going on? Man, is this is Saturday night. You do the Saturday, go home or kick back? No, 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 just go home. You know, the basic stuff, shower and all that. I'm probably gonna make food for my lunch break tomorrow. And I'll probably just sleep or edit a video. Did you feel the earthquake? Yeah, I felt it, Sandra. But I didn't know, I mean, I felt it, but I thought it was the construction, you know. You know, in Jersey City, they're building all over, so that's what I thought it was. Until I found out it was an earthquake. It's 64 degrees here in Florida, of course I have something on. Yeah, a little bit chilly, pretty rare, right? It seems like this winter wasn't too bad, but it doesn't want to go away. Like this April, and we're still wearing jackets outside pretty busy here in what's the name of the street again I keep forgetting Bayard or Bayer Street no we're not Ivan and why does that matter <laughs> Patrick you're funny Hey Ivan, how you doing? Ivan, look at me Ivan. You want some of this Ivan? <laughs> yeah, I think it's time to troll Ivan since he's asking for it, right? Oh Ivan, Lord I mer Ivan, don't get me started Ivan. Don't get me started Ivan, because you know I'm going to move for trolling today. Hi, wait. Hi Ivan. How are you, Daddy? You okay? You okay, sweetie? <laughs> I'm stupid, right? <laughs> oh my God, I'm choking, man. You guys are a mess down here. <laughs> Oh, wait, where, where am I? This is a nice tiny street right here. But I'm gonna go the other side. I'm gonna go the other way and then make it to the other side down there. So. But Ivan, what's up, Ivan? You okay? Why, Ivan? Were well, you missing out, sweetie? Come spend a night with me, Ivan. You won't regret it, honey. I'll wear a wig for you. Smell my breath. It smells like garlic, but you'll love it, sweetie. Hi, then. <laughs> Fiti means Sandra. Fiti means financial district. Ideal meal. I'm on the floor. You okay, Savvy? ¿Qué te pasa, Savvy? ¿Qué? No, tú no sabías que yo tenía algo de pájaro en mí. Ay, Savvy. <laughs> I'm stupid, I'm messing. Mania, and I pretend to be gay, yeah? And some people think it's true. <laughs> oh, Patrick, Patrick, right? May, hey, listen to Spice It Up, Patrick. Hey, Ivan. Ivan, look, we got two manly mans right here looking at you, Ivan. Think about it, Ivan. You wake up, you got one ebony, one ivory. You got two options for the price of one. Choose it, Ivan. <laughs> hey, Albert, what's up, man? You good? Wait, I'm missing out the comments. Wabin Ellie, you okay? Manny, you need to stop. I'm sorry, Jeff. I'm just having a little fun here, you know? ¿Qué te pasa, Bob? Pronto me quiere, Bella? 
Yo soy igual. ¿Qué? Esa es mi, mi vida privada, ¿verdad? <laughs> I'm just messing around. Oh, wow, I'm surprised to see a little bit quiet today. Usually this place is packed. Wow. I know some of these spots you see like a lot of people queuing up to get food and stuff. Now that is, yeah, Saga, there's nothing wrong with that, people. But we're not, but there's nothing wrong with that, so be happy, everybody. Be happy as your life is not your family or your friend's life, you know. You do what makes you happy, don't think about what other people think about you, because they're not going to live the life that you live, you know. Oh, this is the place that's always lined up. Hey, guys, and also, you know what else I forgot? Hey, Ivan. I even think about it. We could be here in Chinatown. Look at the line of people, Ivan. Want to come on a date with me? Hey, you're walking with a YouTuber, Ivan. You'll be in the Mayor League, sweetie. <laughs> Manny, Ivan better hope he doesn't drop anything. I hope Ivan is okay. Ivan, you okay? Ivan, do you fell on the floor? Do you need me to give you a CPR? Huh? Need me to revive you or something like that? Oh, sorry, I thought I was blocking the street. And they got a beautiful street mural right here. We're not making fun of you, Ivan. We're just having fun right here. We're a family, right? That would be an awesome thumbnail. Oh, I, oh, really, Cleo? Awesome thumbnail with my mouth open, right? Think about it. <laughs> oh, my God. You good, Ivan? You sure? You sure? You sure about that? You sure about that? <laughs> and we got the dragon right here. Ivan, you, yeah, you started it, Ivan, not finish it. Exactly, Ivan. For now on, and I'm not mad. For now on, anybody who asks me too many questions, that's what you're gonna get. You're gonna get a patomani. At Pajarito. Hey, Kevin, what's going on? Oh, yeah, Kevin. I mean, Kevin, this is New York City. People do war stuff, so. Hey, right? The beauty about New York City is you can be yourself. Manuel Pere! <laughs> See how people look back? <laughs> <laughs> See, everybody was looking at back. I said, Manuel Pere, they're like, mm hmm? Uh huh? Miss Sugar. And so, no, Ivan, it's okay. You don't need to be sorry. You did nothing wrong. I know you're pretty curious, so. Here, I'm gonna do my Manuel Pérez. How about if I do Manuel Pérez here? So, like Manuel Pérez here? I just wanna see the reaction of the people. They're gonna jump, especially this woman's in the back. Nah, I don't wanna get beat up. What do you think, guys? Are Manuel Pérez right here or no? Yeah, the street is pretty beautiful out here. You got all the lights and stuff. Gotham City, man, is a joker, right? So, guys, how is it when you, when they get mad at you? They call you by your name, right? Scream my name. You want me to scream Patrick? All right, so when I get mad, for now, I'm, I'm going to walk down the street and scream, Patrick! <laughs> Oops, I think I scared him for real. <laughs> Or when they get mad, they be like, Manuel Pere! Yeah, looking like, what's up with this crazy, this local out right here, yo? And then you got the lights of Chinatown. <laughs> I should curse in Spanish. Mira, cabrón! Mamá, bicho! Man, you sound like a squid while screaming Patrick's name. They might be like, what's up with this crazy Puerto Rican, Boricua? Mera puñeta! <laughs> That's Puerto Rican curse right there. Always, always nuts, right? Hey, Ivan, you okay, sweetie? Ivan, the office still open, daddy. Let me know. Look, Ivan, there's an alleyway right here. There's an alleyway right here, and it's just you, me, alone. Think about it, Ivan. <laughs> oh, shit. I sound like a soccer commentator. Well, I'm in the major leagues, Savior. Well, I'm in the soccer leagues if I sound like a soccer commentator. And Manny says he's an introvert. I am an introvert, believe it or not. 
I guess I'm too comfortable talking with you guys and I, I haven't even had my dinner yet. I know you're not, Ivan. Ivan! Ivan! I! <laughs> How long, how's my battery? I'm almost there. Ivan! 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 How long can I go pronouncing the... Let me see how long. Count the... You want to start? I'm going to see if I keep going. Uh, you guys count it, okay? Anybody got a timer on? I'm going to scream Ivan, but I'm going to keep going. Ivan! Let me see. Oh, this is the part where they got a lot of reps. I'm going to start right now, right? gonna load my name okay ready <clears throat> you're right about that Jeff you ain't lying we're ready Ivan Ivan I got you no 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 we're beginning Ivan Ivan Hi, Ivan. You okay? <laughs> oh, sorry, Colleen. I kept you awake. <laughs> and Manny gets kidnapped. Who do you call? The cops are going to pull up a man. You imagine that? <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, if they pull me up, that'll be messed up because all those uh, people who have mental issues and they get away with it, but they pull me up. You're not okay, Ivan? Okay, don't worry, Ivan. I'm going to be nicer to you. I'm sorry about that. 20 seconds? Maybe I'm being too rude with you. Ivan! I! Is that better, sweetie? You <laughs> hear the guy across the street walking the dog. He's looking at me. Want a dog? I think that's Patrick on the leash. He's like holding a dog. He's like... <laughs> he won't come again. Oh, Don't worry, Ivan. Here, Ivan. Come lay in my chest. I'll pet you. Ivan? Yes, I'm too much. I know, Ivan, right? What are we going to do about that? You want the sunset? Of course, Ivan. You want to replace Patrick and watch the sunset with me, uh, Ivan? We can sit down, have some nice talks, have some snacks. We share, you know. I take a bite. You take a bite from me. Oh, sorry. You eat my own germs. Think about it, Ivan. No, $20 Chinatown Square head, Patrick. I only had coffee this morning. No, you, you sure about that, Ivan? Huh? You sure about that? You sure about that? You sure about that? Well, yeah, we are kind of entering the borderline of Fiji or financial district. And we passed a two hour mark live stream. Let me see how my battery is doing. 20, 30 percent. Man, you stopped before the Beluga Mental Hospital ambulance. You mad at that? I'm live streaming regular, then they come and they put a bag on me and kidnap me. I'm like, oh, oh, and they drag me away. <laughs> That'll be hilarious. Yeah, that's a Jenga building. Ivan, come here. Wanna play some Jenga? Ivan, what sports do you like? You like this one? Look, we can play Jenga. Jenga with the building, Ivan, huh? You want to do that? Oh, hey, Birmingham. What is going on, mate? Everything good, mate? Look at that, Birmingham. We are here in blood in New York. Blood in New York, little bloody cold weather in April. Kind of feels like the UK. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or like, yeah. Of course, Ivan. And yes, Colleen, we all love you. You're really a sweetheart. You don't like sports, Ivan? That's okay. It's not for everybody. I used to love sports, but I don't follow it that much, you know. Any hobbies that you got, Ivan? Or? And you got the Freedom Tower right there.
You get bored a lot? Oh. Uh, well, maybe you got to find something to keep yourself uh, pretty busy then, Ivan. You know, that's what I do. When I get bored, I just, especially in New York, I just go out for a walk. Or I film something or I go learn something. You know, we do something educational. You know, you are the control of what you want to do. If you get bored, then that's like a really cheap excuse. You know, you got to figure out something that keeps you busy, that makes you happy, and it produces a really good progress. You know, if people are not happy in the situation they are, it's because they want to be, you know. We got the tools and resources to advance and be where we want to be. So you just got to figure out what's the deal. They got a game called Cornhole, really. I know Karina's not here, but I'm still gonna. Oh, happy days! Oh, happy days! Oh, happy days! Oh, happy day when Jesus walked. <laughs> That's why, Savior, just like Eminem. You suck at cornhole. You know, I never heard. I gotta Google what sport is that. Marcelo, what is going on? Good evening. I know, it seems like people got quiet now, right? Do I got a troll again and stuff to wake people up? <laughs> it's all good. That's right, Savvy. Just like you, you're the J-Lo standing on it. I'm still, I'm still Savvy from the block. And it's still a little bit bright outside. Even if it's almost eight o'clock. Woohoo, baby! We are looking for some good days ahead. But I think every day should be special, you know? If you wake up every day healthy, no matter your situation, even if you're unhappy, God has a purpose with you, you know? Look at what's going on abroad. There are a lot of countries that are in really, really bad shape. But you don't have that. You have, you know, a bed, a roof over your head. So just wake up and grind, you know? Life is not perfect. Not every day is gonna be, you know, the way you wanna be. But sometimes the bad stuff has to happen in order for you to become a better person and learn from your mistakes. You throw a small pillow into a little hole 20 feet. Oh, that's how it works? Oh, I think I've seen that sport. You are more soto in a place. That's what you're being full back. Oh, I think I played that sport before, Patrick. It's actually pretty fun. I think it'll be even more fun when you have a couple of liquor in the system. How's my bad that he doing? 16%. I don't think I'm gonna make it all the way to the end, but let's see. But we already been live for two hours and 10 minutes. That's right, Savvy, me too. I'm grateful and thankful. Are they filming a music video here? What's this line for? You know, I'm a human being too. You know, I got my own struggles and my own battles, but I thank God for everything and all the blessings he gives me, you know? Chavio, man, gaming, what's up, man? And life kicked my butt plenty of times, but no more. I'm learning from your mistakes. That's how I do it. That's, you know, positive. I love that, man. You know, you just cannot feel sorry about it, you know? Yes, it's going to be hard for you to overcome, but you just got to get up and keep going, you know? God is keeping you alive for some reason, so. That too, Maria. And that happens a lot, especially in the channels. Some people come negativity or negative comments and I don't know they don't have a life you know so they have charges at the mental hospital that too Bob but I don't pay mine you know to those people with negativity or I just pray for them pray to get the help they need or things get better for them I don't hate people you know God gives you what you need not what you want exactly Gives you the right tools and stuff. And I feel I'm blessed 
I do have some savings in the bank. I have goals. Amen to that. Amen to that. You're doing it the smart way, you know? Go get it, Tiger. Go chase your goals, you know? It's not going to be from one day to another one, but I believe in you. I know you're going to do really well in life. And everybody here and the 83 people watching, I, I pray for you guys. And I know you guys are going to do great. And you are doing great. You are winning already. We are all winners, right? We declare victory. Bang, bang. Victory, Victoria. What do you do content to? Or monetize? Oh, you're gaming, right? That's what you do? <coughs> well, you monetize. See, there you go. <coughs> Keep on grinding. From local Manny to preacher now. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with me, right? I can multitask, Bob. From quiet introvert, from local to a preacher, Man, he does it all. Hey, loco, loco, loco. Problems only happen if you make it your business. That too, Jeff. And problems are going to get to you. They're probably going to chase your stuff, but just don't pay mine or waste your time. And all the negativity and the crap and stuff. So just try to get away with it. Anyone need toothpaste? I got you. And if you need a tooth, t tooth stick, I got you too. I'm skinny like a tooth stick. I'll brush the teeth with my body. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I can push to the Fulton Street and I'll wrap up my stream over there. Because my battery is going low. Indeed, Luz. No, you're not Luz, you're Uncle Luz. <laughs> Representing the South of Cold Dakotas. Oh, here's the place where they play the Habibi song. I always gotta mute it for copyright. Hey, 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 hey. Let me see. Oh, I can't hear. What happened to the music? City Hall Park. I guess they turned the music off. Thank you. Appreciate that. Want to make costs as fast as I can. Toothpick, yep, that too. Manny is our, even at my age, I got too many things to look forward to, I haven't done. Go for it, it's never too late. You're never old for anything, you know? You're only old if you consider, if you make it look old. You're still strong and healthy, it's just a number. Yes, nephew Manny, you go straight home after the stream. Yes, Uncle Luz, I obey you, Luz. I appreciate you worry about my safety. <laughs> the mayor of WOW, W-O-W. Let me go over this way so we can capture the Freedom Tower and then we wrap up the video before my battery shuts down the stream. I wanted to talk to you. Good night, Manny. Boy, I know it was funny today. You're welcome, Maria. Obrigada. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate always, you know, your presence here and everybody's presence. You guys make the streets possible. I might be back tomorrow. And God's willing. I'm mad at you guys for making fun of me. We're not making fun of you, man. I didn't troll you. I didn't disrespect for you. I'm just playing the gay joke. What happened? You don't, you don't like a little bit of gay jokes? You ask me many questions, me, me joke with you a lot. Renata, many of my neighbors just bought us pizza, beer, because we walk his daughter's week. Oh wow, that's really nice, oh, Bob. And that's really nice what you did for him, you know? Really, really kind, you know? God bless him and God bless you and everybody. And the tallest building in the Western Hemisphere right here, Freedom Tower. No, we were in Ivan. If you feel that way, we apologize to you, but you know, we don't disrespect people right here. It's all love, you know? Cell phone are good, can get rid of someone saying battery low, yep. I'm 7% of the battery. But while I walk there, I'm gonna start saying my buys to the people. That's why I declare jokes and, jokes and laughers are pretty healthy. But I'm gonna start saying bye to the people. 
So Sabby, Patrick, Claire, Jeff, Bob, Ivan, Lou, Xavier, Brandon. I, I missed you till now. I didn't saw your comment. I apologize about that. Colleen, Jeff, Maria, the 91 people tuning in. Who else I'm missing? I appreciate everybody your love and support. Our battery's gonna shut down. You guys have a great night. Tassim, great evening. Like always, I had a good time. I might be back tomorrow or Monday, either day, but I'll be back. So stay tuned, everybody. Here we wrapping it up with a beautiful view of the Freedom Tower. Y'all have a blessed night. Good evening, wherever you guys are watching from. British Grey, take care. We are in Lower Manhattan Financial District. I am signing off. Peace. Good night, everybody. Take care.